Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. You guys, I have announcements today, so please stay tuned for this whole entire video because I have lots of little things I'll be discussing and a few tips along the way. So the reason I wanted to make this card is I could not sleep last night. You guys, today in just a couple hours at noon Mountain Time, Stampin' Up! is doing a, a sale. And it's up to 30% off. I've looked at the list. There's some items that are 10, 15, 25, 30% off. You guys, check it out. So I'll give you all the information. Actually, let me do it real quick. It's jeanpiersani.stampinup.net. Go ahead and check it out. It's also the last days to use the code here, which is the JMJNBU64. And then when you use that code, you guys, you have until the 31st. And then we have my little box of goodies here. Let's see what we've got in here so far. We've got the Seasoned with Kindness, the Humming Along stamp set, the Floral Romance seals, and the Twinkle Adhesive Backed Sequins. For this video, I'm also going to add the real red uh, taffeta ribbon. I don't know if you could see it in there. I can't show you because it's brand new. We've got that in there. And then I am also going to put in one of the uh, colored doilies as well. So, all right. So we've got some good little items in there. And I will choose a winner on June 1st um, out of all of these codes here. So speaking of humming along, I'm going to use my uh, stamp set humming along. We're going to use this little hibiscus there and this little leaf, maybe this little thank you. We'll see what happens. I definitely know the colors that I'm going to be using. I've got some basic black cut in half, scored at four and a quarter. Then I've got some of the lemon lime twist, which is retiring. And I did see this paper on the retiring discounted list. So if you need to get some cardstock and want to get a good price, that's where you're going to get it. I've got some whisper white. These are cut at five by three and a quarter. I've got one for the front one for the inside since it is black we want to have space to write on I also have another small piece not sure what size it is because it was just happened to be left over and I said I could use it I could I'm also going to use this um, pretty label punch I don't know what the name of it is I don't know what it is <laughs> but um, I know this is going to be in the brand new catalog coming out as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to first take my um, just a sheet of lemon lime twist that I have since I had it out um, and we're going to use some memento black with the hibiscus flower. We're just going to take this guy and stamp it. It doesn't matter where you stamp it. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to use it again. And then just take your um, paper snips and start cutting it out. I love the, the snips because they get right in that those corners. So just cut it all around. Cut it right inside that little black line, okay? Not a lot, not like, not way inside, just right on the inside like this and cut it all the way out. Once you get it cut all the way out, you're going to end up with this little guy. We're gonna use that for masking. So, and then once you get it cut out, don't throw it away, just um, keep it right in your stamp set. So that way you have it so you could use later. 
I'm also going to use this little leaf, so I'll grab that, stick that right on there. And let's get making this card. So I'm going to take one of these uh, white sheets here. And I am going to go back in with the Memento Black because we're doing some black and some lemon lime twist here. We're just going to juice this guy up really well. Kind of decide where we want this. And I think we'll go right here. Look how pretty that is. All right, let me go ahead and get this all taken care of. One of you guys asked how long this stays moist in this little container, and I don't know exactly. I will randomly throw <laughs> some of my water in there. Like if I have a glass of water near me, I will just go ahead and um, throw a little bit in there before I start stamping, but for the most part, I mean, I, I didn't do it now. The edges are kind of dry, but the part that I use is still nice and cleans up real well. So once I get that done, let me just stick it back in here. And then now we're going to take this little mask and put it right in here. Why are we doing that? Because I want to stamp these really cute flowers here around the rest of the card. So I'm going to take my lemon lime twist. Now this one again is retiring. I didn't look to see if it was on the list of items that are discounted, but I'd be kind of surprised if it's not. So I'm just going to, the first one I definitely know, this little guy looks like he wants to jump up. So I'm going to hold him in place. And if you use like post-it note to do this part, that works really well too. And I'm going to just ink that up. Now I don't want it to be real bright. I want it to be very light. So I'm going to go ahead, ink that up, stamp off twice, and then go through and stamp there. And then if you see when I remove it, you could see those um, leaves, but they are not bright at all and they have not gotten in that masked area. So we're just gonna go back through here and I'm really hoping I don't forget to stamp off. <laughs> That's the one thing you have to remember is what you're doing there. So I'm just going to hold that in place, stamp off twice. Stamp off again. We're going to twist this guy around. Cute. Stamp off again. just randomly around here. There we go. And if you know me, I am not I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. I want to get this one here. So I want to make sure that really stays in, even though I didn't need it at all. Now that I got that, that done, I can kind of go around with what I want.
and get some of these items that I missed. Not missed, but fill fill in. There we go. There we go. I could just keep going with this all day, so I'll I'll stop here pretty quickly. Um, actually, I think that is good. Other than, there we go. I think that looks good. So now we've got that really pretty flower available. And I'm going to put this back because it can be used again. So I'm going to wash this guy off because we're, we're done with him. And we are going to, look how well they cling. They are really, really good cling stamps there. And that's what all the new stamps are. They're going to be getting rid of um, the old cling stamps and using the new cling because they work so well. So now I want to color in my hibiscus. I have my blender pen here. And I'm going to... I'm just going to grab my large block. And I'm going to push that right down on here. I could have just done a corner, but it's not a big deal. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some ink on there. Keep bumping everything here. And I'm going to take my green side. I, I have two sides to my blender pen. I use the reds and oranges and stuff like that. And then I use this one for like my blues and greens and yellows. So I'm just going to pull some of that here. I'm going to bring some of that color in. And I'm just going to kind of color it in here. Kind of going around the outside. And I'm going to mix this with some um, of my blender pens as well. But I just want to give this a rough, a rough color here. Super cute. So far. And I can keep on blending this if I want to. Just keep on giving it color, blending the inks together. Um, so nice. So I haven't really seen this a lemon lime twist hibiscus, but the yellow ones are really popular, and so I wanted to um, pull in some of that yellow as well. So once I've got that taken care of, actually, I think I'm going to use this a little bit on here as well. It sounds like Stanley is letting some passerbys know that he is home. <laughs> and then the same here, I'm just going to go right along the veins of these leaves here. So pretty. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'll clean that up a little bit later. I'm gonna put these back on and actually, I'm gonna get rid of this extra ink here because I don't need it. So you, the re you just keep on going until it's gone. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to pull out this uh, Daffodil Delight. And there you go. It's all clean now. 
and then with the Daffodil Delight, I'm going to really go here. Look at how pretty that is. Ah, oh, so pretty. And I'm going to go right over the other color. I'm not worried about that lemon lime twist because it's going to look really pretty there. And then remember when you're using the alcohol inks, they are going to go and bleed through to the back. So. Uh, I wouldn't use it just as a card folded in half. I always like to have a base when I'm using that. And see how it's kind of giving it some texture there. Super pretty. This is coming out better, better, better than expected. Look at how pretty that is. And then I'm going to move over to the darker Daffodil Delight. And we're going to do this little, little guy here. Is this the stamp? No, or the piston? I don't remember color this guy in and then we're going to just go along these lines here I mean you can really play with this as long as you want really pretty and kind of just give it some color in the center because those always kind of seem to have a nice there we go and I'm just going to go right back over this again and blend it again just in this part keeping the outer sides really kind of nice and light See how that all blends in. Pretty, right? I'm going to take this real light. No. Maybe a little bit of old olive there. You still should get some good dimension on this. Pretty. And this is the lighter of the old olive stamp and blends. Look how pretty and quick and easy that is. Now, let's get that thank you out. We're just gonna throw that right on here. And we'll get out this guy here. With some memento. And I always just like to line it up real quick and see that it does make a nice straight line. I'm going to take this guy and stamp it right in the middle. There you go. And then we're 
we're going to take our label punch. And this is a lot bigger than that, as you can see. The uh, label punch is bigger than the paper. But what you can do when that happens and you want this to be a little bit longer than, let's say, this size label or shorter, you can always just stick this right in. Well, let me do it in the side that I work better with. You just stick it right in there. Line it up nicely. Like that. Get it there. There we go. And then punch down. And look at that. And then we'll do the same to the other side. Just stick that right in there. Line it up how you'd like it. And there you go. Now we have this nice, long, thin label. And isn't that so funny that it's just the complete, I mean, it doesn't look like it would be from that same punch at all. All right, let's start putting this all together. We're gonna get our base here. Just fold that in half, get out our bone folder, really burnish that down well. We're going to take our lemon lime twist paper here. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take some of this, uh, what is it, taffeta ribbon. Got a piece that's long enough here. I'm just trying to think of where where I want this. That'll work. I'm going to cut off the bottom because I don't really like it just going into nowhere. some tape here and then I'm going to go ahead and put some more tape and I'll put it right over that ribbon really holds it in place there we go line these edges up once you get those lined up, you'll have a nice little border there. And then now we decide, do we want to have this straight on the paper or popped up a little bit? And I think I like it straight on the paper. It gives it a nice, real nice edge. So I'm going to tell you the reason that Stampin' Up! I don't know if that's the reason, but I would think is these blades are have just gotten not that great and they do not like to have poor quality so if you have blades that aren't cutting perfectly I just rub my fingers across and get those fibers pressed down like you would I don't know maybe mom spit might work a little no. <laughs> just kidding right mom spit works on everything We're going to line this up. There we go. I always like to see what side I like best. Look how pretty this is. 
it's coming along so nicely. And then I'm going to take these guys, and I think I think I might have this one um, popped up a little bit. So I'm going to take some of these Stampin' Dimensionals, and we'll put them on here. not grabbing my pickup tool that's my problem I love my pickup tool there we go we're gonna stick this guy right in here nice and centered and then just in case I have this little bow right here Maybe right here on the flower. I don't know. If you have these little bows, you can put them anywhere. Well, let's see. I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna forego the bow, and I might put one of these little guys here. But this is a this is a granny apple green, I believe. I'll look here and see if there's anything that I might want on here. And there's so many different things you can do. I'm very much a just uh, simple, very simple, clean. There's this one here. That's a pineapple punch. That would go pretty right there. After all of that, I decided I am going to go back. I'm going to use. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm going to use a little dot that I got in my paper pumpkin. We're going to put this little guy right here. I just think that's cute. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's. Ah, uh, you guys, I wish I was doing this live so you could help me. Huh, I've decided against it again. Okay, hold on. We're doing this. My last one. Okie dokie. This is what we're going to do. When in doubt, ooh, when in doubt, bling it out. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. <laughs> Sounds like Stanley is having some issues with people walking around. It's way too early. Look at this card, you guys. Super pretty. And then all we need to do is add this guy in here. So you have somewhere to write. And you could decorate this as well, stamp it with um, maybe one of those flowers, uh, one of these leaves. But there you go, what a nice card, super pretty. So you guys, noon mountain time is when this is starting. I will put the details and my link down below and feel free to check out the stuff, the sale goes on exactly at noon mountain, which would be what? 11 Pacific, uh, one central and two Eastern. So 
check out your time zones, set your alarms, let your devices know to remind you. I don't know, but go ahead and do that. And then don't forget, do the host code so that you could win this set, actually. But um, not mine. I'm going to be keeping mine. <laughs> All right, beauties. Have a wonderful day. I will see those of you who are doing my everything is rosy live tonight at six o'clock um i have sent you an email so check your email if you purchase that and we'll see you tonight and those of you who haven't i'll be doing more classes so you can join again in the future all right beauties have a wonderful day happy shopping and i'll see you online bye